Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of October 2022. This reading is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Aquarius. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And also the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you're cross-watching or watching for your own self. All right, so very first card out for you. Somebody is feeling abandoned. Um, it could be that you're feeling abandoned by a particular person here. Maybe they're feeling abandoned, but there is a sense of abandonment here. So let's see. Let's get into the tarot for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For the last part of October. So it definitely feels like, you know, I mean, it could be a separation. It doesn't have to be. It could just be that you're feeling neglected or that they're feeling neglected. But it could also be a separation. So let's see. For the situation, we have the Ten of Cups crossed by Temperance. Okay, so Sagittarius is showing up in here in your reading. Um, Okay, it feels like this is a situation where, you know, it feels like there is a lot of love between you and another person and it feels like the two of you could have been happy um, being together, you know, having a completion of that, right? Having that fulfillment like never ending. Um, but it, it also feels like, you know, there's there was either a lot of waiting, waiting for something here to happen, waiting for this to happen. And I feel like, you know, that patience is running out. Let's see the recent past. We have the Knight of Cups. Let me just get the rest of them. For your energy, the Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. For them, we have the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles coming up for you. The Three of Cups. Ooh, Libra had that in the exact same position. And um, coming up for them, we have the Nine of Wands. All right, Aquarius. So let's see, what is happening here? So I'm not sure this Nine of Cups, if this is the same person that is showing up here or if this is someone else. I feel like for some of you, this is someone else actually. So it could be that you had some kind of a, um, a proposal or some kind of like someone else kind of coming into the picture, making an offer or being flirty or something along those lines. And then for others of you, this is actually, you know, this person, um, the same person having done that, you know, coming forward in this connection or maybe you, you move towards them and, you know, expressed your feelings, gave them an offer. Um, we'll see. So for you with the Seven of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, you're, there's a lot of thinking here. There's a lot of thinking about how you can change the situation, what shifts you need to make, or thinking about, okay, you know, how can I bring into my life, you know, what is meant for me? Or, you know, even if you believe that it's this person that is meant for you, you know, it's like there's a lot of thinking around that. Like, okay, how can, how can destiny, you know, come? <laughs> it's kind of like that. Um, and I do see you, whatever it is that ends up happening here, um, I do see you moving towards something very positive here with the Three of Cups, possibly um, some kind of a reunion or a coming back together with somebody, whether it be this person, whether it be this new person, but I do see you being able to enjoy yourself, whereas I feel like currently, um, or pre- Prior to that, um, there's just like a lot of thinking about what it is that you should do. And I feel like there's also effort. Like you're putting an effort into trying to bring about some kind of a result. For them, the King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, they're, this is someone who really wants this. Wow, um, this person does have a lot of passion for you. And I feel like they do want to give to you. So we'll see what, what the issue is here. Because I do also see them running into some kind of a challenge here. Um, and I do feel like, you know, their challenge is related to you, you know, moving into this like lighter state of being. 
and just being more happy, possibly. I, I feel like you're not putting in as much effort into this situation and that's what's making you feel lighter and then things are getting challenging for them. So let's clarify. So who is feeling abandoned here? I don't see you feeling abandoned. Maybe you initially feel abandoned, but I see them having to face something more challenging coming up. So let's see. Ten of Cups with Temperance. We have the Sun, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, this definitely, first of all, we do have Leo also showing up here. Um, this definitely does feel like this is a connection that has this potential to just be so happy and, you know, there's a lot of love here, as I said, and I feel like you both feel this about each other. Um, I feel like you both know this to be true, actually. And you both want this to actually work out. So what the hell's going on, <laughs> Aquarius? Like, wow, I, it just feels like, you know, for whatever reason, like this just wasn't, um, Ten of Swords, this wasn't taking place. Like this just wasn't reaching that point that it was just taking way too long. Let's see, let me see this Knight of Cups. I feel like also like there may have been some extreme behaviors um, from one of you where they're, so these extreme behaviors, like they're not very consistent. So it's like acting, you know, very, um, let's say, you know, stable the one minute and then just being very unstable, you know, after that, for example. Let's see. Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands and the Fool. Okay, so for those of you where, you know, definitely I'm getting that for some of you, you know, someone new kind of like appeared. They made an appearance out of the blue unexpectedly. And I feel like this kind of put you into like this other kind of uh, thinking mode where you're just like, okay, you know what? Let me just think about this. Um, because apparently like I do have other options and if this is taking so long, you know, maybe I should entertain this other option. I don't know, you know, something like that. Um, and then for others of you or even this, both of these messages could even apply to some of you. Um, this person was just not consistent in the way that they were expressing their love. Um, again, like maybe hot and cold, you know, like in and out, like that kind of thing. When they were giving you love, it's like it was short lived. And maybe even a little bit like, like I said, like, you know, kind of like extreme behaviors, like all in and then all out or um, I don't know, something a little bit immature. Let's see. Let's move on to your energy. Let's see that seven of pentacles. Death. Okay, so Scorpio. And we also have the moon, Pisces. Yeah, so a lot of thinking about what you should do and how you can go about bringing about a shift in all of this because I do feel like ultimately you were feeling abandoned. And so I feel like, you know, a lot of this thinking was, okay, you know, should I end this? But then there's fear around that ending and there's doubts around that ending. Or, you know, should I make some huge, like, transformation? Or, you know, and I feel like you were taking some steps in that direction, but there was also a fear of that. Or this could be what you're currently going through um, or what you're building up towards, okay? Depending on when you watch this reading and everybody's timeline is a little bit different. Let me see the Wheel of Fortune. Because I feel like you are making this shift here. All right, so we have Judgment and we have um, the Four of Pentacles.
Okay, so what I'm getting here is that what you, something that you're realizing is that you cannot control this situation and that, you know, there, no matter how much planning you do or what you're thinking or what effort you make or what you do, like, you know, this person is what they are and they're going to do what they're going to do and there's, you know, you can't really control it. Like, you can't really just come up with a plan and do certain things to make this shift or to bring in destiny, you know? It's kind of like that has to happen organically, like that has to happen naturally. So I feel like this is a major realization for you and that is when things start becoming lighter and easier for you. When you kind of just release that control because you release that insecurity of, you know, loss or of being abandoned and you just let the wheel turn. You kind of just let you know, fate or destiny or, you know, just take these terms loosely, okay? This is just my way of expressing this. To just let those things happen. Let it happen to you rather than trying to control it. Okay? Even if, you know, you believe that, um, that, you know, we create our own destiny. Yes, I agree with that as well, right? But trying to control another person isn't going to create our our destiny, so to speak, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like you can only control like for your own self. And then from there on after, you know, allowing things to come in. That's what I mean here. And I feel like that's what you're realizing and that's actually helping you out a lot. So let's see what's going on with this other person here. So King of Wands. The Chariot, okay, so Cancer. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancer. And the Ten of Cups showing up again. Yeah, I mean, same message here. This person has a lot of passion for you. This person definitely feels love for you. This person wants to be with you. They want to have this love with you. I don't know what's going on with their energy though in terms of, um, Again, coming off as something being a little bit immature, something being like very extreme or just very like, like I said before, like all in and then all out or just switching it up and not being very consistent, not really knowing what they're doing. I feel like that's kind of what's happening here. Um, and you're just like, yeah, I can't, I can't deal with that. Let's see the Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles and the Tower. Yeah, they're gonna go through it. Um, they're, they're gonna go through it. Because I feel like, you know, there's something here where there wasn't stability in like the effort that they were putting in or in, if it's not effort, it's in just like what they were providing, what they were giving, how much they were giving. Um, so because of that and because, you know, I feel like you're taking this new path here, like because you're just kind of not trying to control this anymore that's leading them to have this tower. And I feel like that actually came through in quite a few of the other signs also. Um, yeah, I mean, they're just gonna have to go through it. So they want, that's the thing. It's like they want to give to you. I feel like they just don't really know how or there was something that they were missing here. There was something that they were missing in terms of, you know, how to, how to interact maturely in a connection. So they're going to have to face this, this like wake up call. Let's see that three of cups for you. We have the two of cups and the Six of Cups, yeah, this is definitely you um, coming together with somebody in love. And I do feel like it is somebody from the past. I'm not sure if it's this person because I don't see this person really being like at that, like in that alignment with you. Um, so I don't know who this is, but there's definitely some kind of a connection here that you are 
interacting with and whatever that is it looks pretty good to be honest so I mean I don't know who this person is that we've been talking about um, I don't know maybe for some of you it's not even like maybe it's not like a love partner and maybe this is the love partner and now you're able to come together with them because you're like releasing this other thing here I don't know Take it as it makes sense, but that's that's what I'm getting here. All right, let's see the Nine of Wands for them. The Page, is this the Page of, sorry, there's a glare. Yeah, the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay, I feel like this is very, very specific. Um, so for whoever this has been resonating for, it, I mean, it just looks like you're coming into a connection with somebody else here other than who this person is. And then this person is going to be pretty upset about it. Um, again, roles can be reversed, though. Um, take it as it resonates because um, I know some of you cross watch. So, yeah, it's like this person is finding out right about about you, you know, coming together with someone and they're grieving, they're grieving, but this is something they have to go through and it's okay. Everybody has their own lessons to learn basically. So yeah, who knows what's going to happen after that. Um, but that is it Aquarius. Those were your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.